live. Good morning. Yes, we are live. So if you come in and give me a hello, if you are not in uh, today, then if you're watching on replay, drop a replay below. So what's the best oil to use? That was a question we had yesterday, so if I jump on and answer it, is coconut oil as good as what they say it is? So let's put this into perspective on here. Firstly, when you look at um, like oil, when do you normally use it? You'd normally use it when frying foods. And in general, we know that frying just generally isn't as good as, say, something like grilling. So in general, like swapping frying for grilling is probably going to be a good thing. Now, that aside, obviously, you're still in oven, frying, etc. You're going to use some oil. Now, let's firstly break it down from a weight loss perspective. From a weight loss perspective, any oil is going to add calories in. So a lower calorie option might be like fry light and things like that. But not everyone wants to use them, of course. I don't actually use them myself. An air fryer might be a good option because you use less oil as well. So that's going to reduce calories, which is going to, in the, um, in the byproduct of that, is that you're going to help manage overall calories, potentially. However, now let's break it down from a um, health perspective. You look at coconut oil and people say it helps with fat loss as well. Just to put it in perspective, oil is pure fat. So one gram has nine calories. However, coconut oil has 8.4, which doesn't make much of a difference. But if you were having lots of it, perhaps you would notice a tad. But I wouldn't really focus there. But one of the things you see a lot is the fat loss, weight loss claim. And there is some interesting you know, research that indicates that you know, when they compare olive oil type you know, polyunsaturated with um, coconut oil, they do see um, better weight loss with the coconut oil. So, but does that mean coconut oil is better? Well, it's marginal, one. And two, the byproduct is often that their cholesterol goes up, and especially the LDL cholesterol, which is the cholesterol which is quote unquote bad and more associated with um, heart disease. So then you've got that aspect as well. And then you've got the frying. So like, should I fry at high heats? Like, you know, is butter and coconut oil, I've heard that's more stable. Yes, that's a saturated fat. However, the flip side of that is things like olive oil, they contain polyphenols and antioxidants, which you could argue then offset any you know, carcinogenic nature of frying with oil. So <laughs> the jury's really out on that. If you look at the studies though, in terms of Mediterranean diet, olive oil, you know, arthritis, potential olive oil, um, vitamins, polyphenols. Olive oil is probably superior in that side of things. Weight loss, maybe there is something with coconut oil, but it comes down to total calories. So in terms of, a, from a health perspective, cholesterol perspective, olive oil is gonna be better. In terms of a weight loss perspective, there's probably not gonna be much in it. Some research would indicate coconut oil might be superior. Um, great moisturizer though. Um, for if you're sunburned, some, I was like, I need something on this sunburn the other day. Coconut oil, done. Um, so would I uh, have a recommendation on that? I would say it really comes down to how much you use, how often you use it. Like if it's weight loss, think about ways that you can use a bit a bit less in general is probably going to be a good thing or reduce your calories from elsewhere. Um, if it's health perspective, I don't think you can argue with olive oil overall. Probably is superior. So I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. Have an awesome day and I'll see you soon.